Hey guys, this is Sniper Professor again with another new video coming out. This video, I'll be showing you the best theme you can get on your iPod Touch or iPhone ever. And in this video, I will not be using Winterboard because I found another alternative that is way better than Winterboard. It is called Dreamboard if you have not heard of it. It is quite new and um, it has just released its first version after the beta. <coughs> and I'll be showing you how to get it and what kind of themes you can get. <coughs> now first up, let me show you what Dreamboard is. So Dreamboard is right here. It's a, it's a big D on the on the icon and it says Dreamboard on the bottom. So click into it and <coughs> it loads up into a screen. Like the your screen shrinks a little bit and then goes into another screen. <coughs> Now, um, before I start, um, let me tell you about what I like about Dreamboard. <clears throat> in Winterboard, uh, every time you get a new theme, you have to respring it, and I found that kind of annoying. And sometimes, like, not all the icons have have uh, <clears throat> have icons that not all the icons are fitted into the theme. So, you know, sometimes I get like a, a good theme, but with with without the icons. So, Dreamboard is basically Winterboard on steroids. It lets you, you know, have cool backgrounds and <clears throat> it, and it is com completely compatible to to any icons and also it does not have to respring every time you change the theme. So right now I clicked into it and my screen shrinked a little bit, it shrinked a little bit and and uh, when you first download Dreamboard, it comes with one theme, which is the HTC Incredible theme, which is awesome because you ha you don't have to go through all the <coughs> rearranging the icons, put them in the folders, and all that kind of good stuff. So, um, but uh, I've downloaded more themes from both from uh, Cydia and from uh, the internet, which I SSH into the <coughs> my device, and you know. As I showed you before, my uh, when I entered Dreamboard, my screen my screen shrink, and you know I can just scroll from left to right to different themes. And this is the original theme that comes with it. All you have to do is you know, click it, and click you know, and <coughs> four options come up: apply, edit, reset, and cancel. And I will click apply, and it'll blow up a little bit, and wait for it to um to Refigure your configurations, and there you go. And you know, you can change the weather to a, the city you prefer by clicking the the eye icon on the top right corner. And you see here the mail works, uh, Safari works, and let me show you a little bit settings. Click into it; it goes into the setting app, <coughs> the the same app that you can use from uh, without Dreamboard. See settings, no lag at all. And when you exit it, goes right back to this screen. And as you can see here, it's sunny outside right now, and <clears throat> there's like animation on my sun. Don't know if you can see that, but um, it is like glowing right now. <clears throat> and if you want the animation to stop, all you have to do is uh, click the plus sign on the right corner, right bottom co corner, and you know the animation stops. It save a little bit of battery but you know you get you're without the animation press it again you know, it glows again the sun <clears throat> and when it's raining it the whole screen starts to rain and you know when it's cloudy cloud flows around the screen it's pretty cool and <clears throat> and this is like the full out um android theme that you don't have to um you don't have to tweak any settings at all you have the calculator the clock the live clock here and your Facebook, Cydia, the terminal, um, camera, which I don't have because I have an iPod Touch 3G, and the iFile, and you know, um, on the left side, you have Facebook that works, and <coughs> you know, and all the apps are in the bottom left corner. As you can see in the background, my son is like glowing, the animation is right there. And you know, all the, all the apps I have is in this folder, which is really cool. Press that again to exit out of it. <clears throat> so that's one of the themes. And if you want to change the themes, all you have to do is you know click Dreamboard. This 
the screen will shrink in, in a little bit and then you can pick another I downloaded this one also this uh, the my touch 4G from T-Mobile click apply and let it load a little bit <coughs> to refigure the configurations weather and all that kind of good stuff and again there's animation on it and all the and all the um, the cool icons which works you know all the Facebook and stuff and if I get tired of this one all I have to do is go back into Dreamboard which I gotta find because uh, I can see it right now uh, oh it's right here um, click the apps icon and find Dreamboard there it, is. there it is press it and let the let the screen shrink back to the original and then you can change another one now if if you want to go back to the original one like your original Apple can, uh, theme just click this one and my bad click this one and you're back to the original background you have which is re really cool the only downside to Dreamboard is it is a memory the RAM killer because it hogs all the RAM so if you have a iPod Touch first gen or second gen or the iPhone first generation second generation or third generation uh, I would not recommend this because you know as you can see I had um, 150 megabytes of RAM before I started this stream board and right now even after it's exited um, I only have 51 left so I have to go in and uh, free up the memory myself and uh, and you know it's just a memory hogger so I w would only recommend this um, for 3GS, uh, iPod Touch 3G, 4G, and iPhone 4 because of the memory it takes to run Dreamboard. And right now, as you can see, I can't even get back to um, to my um, 150 megabytes without having to free up my memory. Let's see how much I can free it back up. <clears throat> and it's not even going back up to my original. <laughs> 150. I think I have to um, reboot it every time to to get my memory back. So I will be back when I reboot. So hey guys, I'm back after I reboot and I get I'm getting my 120 megabytes of RAM back. And you know that's what you have to do with uh, Dreamboard. And I think Dreamboard would work perfectly with the iPhone 4 because it has so much RAM that it's never gonna take up all of it. But um, as, as I said before, you have to reboot it after you exit it out of Dreamboard <coughs> to, to uh, restore your RAM. So uh, how to get this uh, cool application? First you go into Cydia, of course. And uh, Dreamboard is a paid application, <coughs> I think from uh, Big Boss. But like I said before in my earlier videos, I jailbreak to get free apps, so I'm not going to pay for your shit. So <coughs> I'm going to teach you how to, guys how to get Dreamboard for free. <coughs> so I'm gonna let uh, Cydia load up a little bit and let it reload data. As you can see here, I was searching for a screen recorder on Cydia before, and it doesn't work. So don't bother your time with it. I don't think it's compatible with the 4.3.1 firmware. <coughs> let it finish load a little bit and let's look uh, Dreamboard up. D R E A M B O A R D. One word. <coughs> Let's search, and there it is. I have like five different <coughs> versions of Dreamboard available on my Cydia, and the one from Mot My Eye is you have to pay for it. That's the real version. I'm not gonna use that one. The one I used for was from a uh, Insanely Eye dot insanely i repo <coughs> which works perfectly and all you have to do is add the insanely i repo source which i'll show you put it on the description and you click it uh click to install click to confirm and i already have it so mine says modify right here but um all you have to do is um uh, download it and and um respring i think um and th this is like a an older version which works on uh, 
as you can see here, the Dream Board, the paid version is at uh, version 1.1. Uh, the one I picked from uh, Insignlii is um, version 1.0.2, but it works perfectly and it is that it actually runs a little bit faster than the 1.1 version, so that's why I use this one. And I am currently on the the 4.3.1 um, firmware, so as I said before, it works and it is one of the best app uh, <coughs> in comparison to a uh, winter board. And on the bottom it says no, not compatible with iPad, and not recommended for the iPhone 3G, iPod Touch 2G, or the iPod 3G 8 gigabyte. And it is tested on 4.1 and 4.2.1. But right now, as you can see, I just tested it on 4.3.1 on the iPod 3G 32 gigabyte version. <coughs> so if you have anything above the iPod Touch 3G uh, 32 gig version, um. This app is perfect for you. <coughs> so um, that's it, you guys, for the Dreamboard um, review. And I hope I'll be back with uh, some more new videos. So please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Peace out, guys.